recent research paper suggests that terrestrial-style biology may be rare, and Earth may be among the first examples of a planet able to sustain life in the cosmos. Even as the new kids are on the block, humans are seemingly one of the precious few instances of intelligence to arise in the universe since the Big Bang. Scientific studies tell us that human beings have been around for some time now. But we are not nearly the oldest living species still around today. Although it can be hard to tell exactly how old some species are, scientists are confident that they still haven't uncovered nearly all the fossils that could be found. Most scientists agree that the oldest living species still around today is the horseshoe crab. According to scientific research, the horseshoe crab that still exists today has been around mostly unchanged since the Ordovician period which is about 445 million years ago. If that doesn't sound incredible to you, think of it this way. The oldest multicellular animals found in fossils date back about 600 million years. Most species of animals usually only last a few million years. For example, the dinosaur Tyrannosaurus rex only existed for about 3 million years. Our species, Homo sapiens, has been around a mere 250,000 years. The horseshoe crab, on the other hand, has been around for about 450 million years. That's about three-fourths of the entire time that animals have existed on Earth. That's incredible. Scientists believe its simple but effective immune system may be responsible for its longevity. Even older fossils of familiar creatures have been found. For example, scientists have found extremely old fossils of the Nautilus, 500 million years old, jellyfish, 550 million years old, and sponge, 760 million years old. These simple creatures existed even before the horseshoe crab, and they still exist today. However, their modern forms have evolved and aren't the exact species of the ancient fossilized forms that scientists have found. Nevertheless, the Nautilus, jellyfish, and sponge can claim to have ancient roots, and scientists believe there are probably even older fossils that haven't yet been discovered. Why is then humans evolved so fast and became the dominant species in the world while other life forms remain the same? Recent research has shown that humans have a lower mutation rate than chimpanzees and gorillas, their closest living relatives. Humans and other apes copy and proofread their DNA with basically the same biological machinery as yeast, which is about a billion years old. Yet, humans and apes have only existed for a small fraction of this time, a few million years. Statistical analysis of the genomes of thousands of people from all over the world did indeed show that the mutation rates of many different three-letter DNA motifs have changed during the past 20,000 years of human evolution. Harris and Pritchard report that when groups of humans left Africa and settled in isolated populations across different continents, each population quickly became better at avoiding mutations in some genomic contexts, but worse in others. This suggests that the risk of passing on harmful mutations to future generations is changing and evolving at an even faster rate than was originally suspected. The results suggest that every human ethnic group carries specific variants of the genes which ensure that DNA replication and repair are accurate. These differences appear to influence which types of mutations are frequently passed down to future generations. An important next step will be to identify the genetic variants that could be controlling mutational patterns and how they affect human health. It is possible that humans were in fact being programmed and conditioned at the DNA level to evolve faster perhaps planted on Earth by intelligent life forms beyond our universe. If humans were to be evolved by itself from a single cell at the beginning of time on Earth, it is unlikely that we will be able to become the dominant species in such a short period of time considering other much more ancient life forms like a horseshoe crab. If we really put ourselves a little bit out of the box or out of our solar system, we will see that our planet Earth is surrounded by the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud. The Kuiper Belt is a circumstellar disk in the outer solar system, extending from the orbit of Neptune at 30 astronomical units to approximately 50 O from the Sun. The astronomical unit is a unit of length, roughly the distance from Earth to the Sun and equal to about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles equivalent to 8 light minutes. It is similar to the asteroid belt, but is far larger 20 times as wide and 20 to 200 times as massive. The Oort Cloud is a predicted collection of icy objects farther away than everything else in the solar system. 
It fits with observations of comets in the planetary region of the solar system, but scientists have yet to observe any object in the Oort cloud itself. Needless to say, our solar system is surrounded and seems to be protected or shielded by both the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. If we think about it, Earth could be an incubation of humans in this protected bubble from everything that's beyond the universe. The question is could there be other aliens race which may want to conquer other planets and harness its resources? Are we a product of a single alien race experiments or development of the so-called superior third-class highly evolved humans and what is humans' purpose on Earth? Was humans given a short lifespan so that we could get as much as we can out of our life to develop something very critical and important for the single alien race? We are also possibly on the verge of major discovery in science considering finding God's particle also known as Higgs boson in this generation. This subatomic particle with the expected properties was discovered in 2012 by the Atlas and CMS experiments at the Large Hadron Collider. Scientists are now on the verge of finding the purpose of neutrinos and how it works, the missing piece of the puzzle of how they have profound implications for physics and should point the way to a better understanding of how our universe evolved. Some say this will also unravel the truth about parallel universe and possibly fourth dimension. Is this the sole purpose of humans? Are we supposed to find the missing link possibly for this specific alien race? Are we destined to open up the secrets of the universe? There you have it. We hope you enjoy the video and hopefully this will inspire us all to ponder about what lies beyond our life. Until then, please click like, subscribe and comment down below. Bye.